Hello, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a new stamp set, but it's not new to me because it's not mine. I use this stamp set and it's called Daisy Garden and it belongs to my sister Sheena. She's ooh, got a name on it. When she ordered it, I thought, oh, I like that. But I couldn't think of how many times I would use it. So I asked if I could borrow it and she said yes. So Daisy Garden and this has all come out of the scalloped contour dies. So and I've cut them all out ready. I have got a card base of six and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Now I scored it at four and one eighth and then I'll turn it round and I have half of the second piece. So literally I've just cut that in half. So this is two and one sixteenth. Alright, yeah. Two and one sixteenth. So you can either score it at two and one sixteenth, which you can't really do on a scoreboard, or just turn it round and score it at four and one eighth. And then you have that. I have cut out the largest scallop die and that will sit inside. Then I cut out the next size and that will sit just there. That's the right way. On top. And then I cut out the next size which will sit on top of that, like that, and that's the one we're going to stamp on. We've also got the best wishes to do and cut out, which I will do using, oh, using the die from the art gallery. So, and the best wishes comes from the art gallery as well. So what we need is this piece. Put this up here. And post-it notes. She says, looking for them. Oh, can't see them. What I'm going to do, put a piece of paper down, put this down straight, and I'm going to put a piece of post it note where the stitching is. You see, on these dies, you have the stitching. Oh, no, you can't see. Yeah, you can up there, all around the edges. So I am going to put the post-it note all around the edges of by the stitches covering them up because I don't want the big stamp to stamp over the edge. I just want it in the middle. Get another one. Rip it in half because I only need a little bit. And up here. So that's the area area we are going to stamp on. Now at the bottom I brought it down a little bit further because when you're stamping on uh, like a raised bit it won't go to the edge so hopefully I've taken it down enough for it to go to the edge now I've got this flower and on the one I made I inked up this part and stamped it down and I inked up using my memento black ink Oh, 
turn it over and put it down hopefully get in them flowers on Right. There we are. Oh. I didn't wet my cloth to clean the stack. it straight away it's not my stamp that's always worried me when you borrow stamps as if you don't return them in the condition they've got them in I mean that was brand new she hasn't even used it she hasn't put the backing on I only know that because she backs her stamps I don't Right, I've also borrowed another one off her, which you'll see next week. Right then, we're going to colour this in, and I have got Purple Posy. No, I haven't. This is darker. Highland Heather Light, Old Olive Light, and Daffodil Delight. So, Old Olive. We're just going to colour the stems and the leaves nothing fancy just colour them in Ooh, bit of leaf there Cutting the stems. Quite a nice stamp this. If you can be bothered to colour it all in. Right, yellow or oh, daffodil delight. Colour in the centres of the flower. Flowers. And then colour in all the flowers. Daisies. Oh, we've got purple daisies. Because in my craft making world, we have purple daisies.
I would say it's been that long since I've seen the daisy, if I forgot what it looks like. I still I've been out but I haven't ventured far from home. I don't plan on venturing far at the moment. But these look nicer in the purple than they do in the pink. They show up more. Whereas in that pink they didn't show up. as much. Oh, my grandson's on his holidays. Much to his mother's disgust, he booked a holiday to Mallorca for his 21st birthday. His mum's not happy. Not a lot she can do about it, though. finished his um, second year at uni so technically he's on holiday <laughs> that's the young for you you don't have a worry in the world saying that though Alistair did get the virus when it first came out Being a uni, or being at uni, and his uni was struck with it. But lucky enough, he didn't suffer too bad. Said he had the flu for a few days. That's how he felt. Right. That's that one done. So now all we've got to do is put this all together and do our let's do our sentiment first. So got our best wishes and our versifying. going to stamp that there in fact the next three cards I make well, depending what order you see these in they've all got this best wishes on it Uh, 
and the dye is all cut down on every single one of them. Right, now that is obviously too long, so I am going to cut it down and I'm going to put the die where I want it, about there, and make sure that they're in the cutout, glue that on, stick it down and run it through. I only usually just run the end through to cut it off, which I find usually enough, and I get that back. And there is my sign with a bit of cardboard on it. Right, I'm going to leave that out because I'll need it again. Right, let's start gluing this together. Right, the first one I do is this white one. I'll glue that in first, and on each corner I put a. So I don't want it lifting. And I'm going to put it with just a small border and evenly on from top to bottom. Right then we get our purple one and with purple one. Purple posy. And we place that so it looks central. Oh no, I forgot something. Disaster. Right, let's do something. I forgot to stamp on here. Don't know if you can see it on this one. I stamped the daisies on there. But I didn't like the way I stamped it on there because there's nothing here. So, what we're going to do... Is get it back out. Got our purple posy. Just ink up the top flowers. this way and I'm going to do it this way so that we've got flowers from top to bottom I wonder if there's enough ink just to put an impression there. Just a slight one. That's fine. Right. Oh, wait. Get rid of that. That's better. Now we'll get back to what we were doing. Putting that on there so it's even. Like that. 
and then I know I have to place glue in this area. we have that on and then we're going to glue this one down I didn't put any of it on um, dimensionals but I will be putting the sentiment on dimensionals got away with putting the minis on but never mind and we'll put that there right, all we've got left to do now is to add three gems our card complete for today hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for listening I hope to see you again soon